Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone beyond. We are at Bigelow's and Boys at Home getting unloaded. And I got me some really coffee. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Big loads if you want to sponsor me, I'm available. <laughs> So good. Mmm, so good. So yeah, I'm gonna open a window. It's getting stuffy in here. There. It's Eight o'clock in the morning. On a Tuesday morning. That's a nice, nice Jaguar. Jaguar, as the British would say. The Jaguar. It's a Jag. It's a nice Jag. Anyway, as I was saying, it's uh, 8 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. The tw May the 26th, 2020. And that's what we're doing. As soon as we get done here, we're going over to, to, um, Thermal King, to get the APU looked at. So you can stop idling this truck, oh, it's driving me crazy. We were doing really good on fuel. Um, this whole trip back, we were getting seven miles an hour, or seven miles per gallon plus, all the way, except Except that when I stopped and idled the truck, that drops that down. Because we were up at like seven and a half. And then I idled the truck, dropped that down to 7.1. Which is still pretty good, but it could have been a lot better. We did really good on fuel this trip. Good old Wilma. We like it when we do good on people. It's good to keep most, put money back in the boss's pocket. So you can put more money in my pocket. <laughs> Look at that. Well, you can't see it. Student driver. And there's, there's a, the DMV is right down here. There's two of them. There's a main one where you go to get your license. You do your test, you, there was, down at the, on the end, there's a school, driving school. And the student drivers are driving around in a freaking uh, Mustang GT convertible. Of course, I didn't take driving school, I didn't do none of that. But they got Mustangs, they got, uh, they got Charger, um, they got a, a Beetle, they got several nice, pretty nice cars, and, uh, <laughs> that's a nice freaking Mustang. They're all ugly yellow, but other than that, they're pretty nice cars. It's like, man, when I was a kid, we didn't, you know, actually, Driver's Edge was just starting when I was a kid. They were, you took it in your in your mama's car or whatever. So yeah, there weren't driving schools like that with for kids anyway. I mean, my very first car was a, <laughs> it's a beat up old truck. <laughs> Beat it. Well, the first car that I bought, see what car did I buy? What car did I buy? First car I bought 
Uh, can't remember now. Was you? Uh, no, I didn't buy that one either. Um, uh, dang, I can't remember. <laughs> the first car I actually bought and paid for. Must have been the, um, must have been the Datsun 310GX, and I only paid $25 for that one. It wasn't running when I got it. Well, barely running. I barely got it home. It actually died on the way home. I was like a block and a half from home, stuck in the middle of the road and wouldn't start. I sat there trying to get it start through two lights, trying to get the same thing started. It finally kicked over and I, I got it got it home. Spent the whole weekend rebuilding a carburetor. Went down and bought a carburetor kit and did it myself. Which I'm not a mechanic. Never claimed to be a mechanic. But I did that carburetor by myself and it never went idle again. But hell I got Great fuel mileage. <laughs> I put back then, you know, back then gas was pretty cheap back then, but I put like seven bucks in it. And I drove all week. It was 50 miles one way to work. And I drove all week on seven bucks. Back and forth. From Burnett, Texas to Pflugerville, Texas. Back and forth. On seven bucks. <laughs> but it wasn't idle. Yeah, a, it was a. I think it was a five speed manual. And you had to do your well, put on a brake and a gas, trying to keep it running at stoplights. I've been given several cars. Uh, I got my dad, my granddad's old pickup. Old Ford, this is a little Ford Courier, a little Mazda motor in it, little little thing. And I was given a a Datsun B210, only because I got it running. <laughs> mean, they're not mechanic. My buddy had bought it from our neighbor. He paid a hundred bucks for it. Couldn't get it to couldn't get it to even start. And he went, he, he went down to the store, he got parts, and he come back, and when he come back, I had started it. <laughs> and he was, you can have the piece of shit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that was an ugly freaking car. Beat your tin, is ugly. It was all, this one had been beat up. It was primer color, yellow and orange and gray, and it was ugly. But it ran good. <laughs> Once I got it started, it ran great. Until my cousin threw out the clutch. Then, uh... What else? I mean, we had junk cars back in the day. And all my cars, early cars, were all beaters. Just all just beater. Except for my Nova. I got the Nova from the same guy I got the beater tin from. That was my hot rod. I wish I had that car back. Oh well. These kids running around here. Now, my buddy back there, I had a buddy, uh, David Sauer. Um, his family had, you know, they weren't rich, but they were pretty well off. And uh, he had a car already waiting for him. We were in seventh grade, I think. And his parents bought him a car. They bought him a 
I believe it was a G28. It was either a G28 or a Firebird. 70 something Firebird. Or it might have been a Z28. I think it was a Z28. A white one. But, uh, I mean, it was used and it was old, 70 something, but still, it's a Z28. I'd love to have that car right now. Um, so, yeah, he had it waiting for him. It was a nice car. Morning. I don't know what they're doing. They're working on. I think they're working on the docks, the dock plate. I think. I think that's what he's doing. You were back there looking at that one. Now he's looking at the one over there. What are you doing? So anyway, um, yeah, I had all, you know, I didn't even buy my first car until I was in my 20s. And, uh, actually, one that I actually spent a decent amount of money on. Of course, I say decent amount of money, I think we spent 500 bucks. I bought a I bought a um, Cavalier, Chevy Chevy Cavalier. That was a cool car. I mean, it, you know, it looked like crap, but that thing was a hot little thing, man. It would run. It's quick. It was a fun car to drive too. I guess the first thing I actually really spent more than 25 bucks on was a motorcycle. I paid 500 bucks for a Honda uh, SS. It was an 80, I think it was 82 model, or an 80, I think it was 82. And that little bugger would book. Then I sold it. And bought a Yamaha for five hundred bucks. I sold my bike. I bought five hundred bucks. Sold it for five hundred bucks. <laughs> and bought a Yamaha a little crotch rocket. Yamaha Seiko six fifty turbo. That freaking thing would buck. It just shit and get. It scared scared the crap out of it. It'll try to jump out from under you. And then me and my ex split up. She ended up with the title. But I couldn't get the title back from her. I think she lost it. I don't know for sure. But I never did get the title back from her. And I moved to, to Austin. In with my aunt down there. And had the bike parked out front. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't register her anyway. They were sitting out front and this guy drove by and, how much you take for that motorcycle? 500 bucks. Sold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you buy so cheap because you can't get a title. Well, I don't want a title. I'm, I'm going to tear it apart and put it because he has another one just like it that he needs parts for. I said, that one runs great. I, you know, I just can't get a title on it. So... That was that. So they were five hundred bucks. Right. 
Oh, copy, copy, copy. I need more copy. No. Yeah, so we get done here, we'll go Thermo King. Get this thing fixed, hopefully. If I can stop idling this crazy truck. And then go park over it. Um, Flying J. And Alex can come out and look at my ABS, hopefully, get that damn thing fixed. And then we'll chill out until tomorrow night. And then we'll head over to uh, to Paul Idaho. Pick up a load for Boston. And we'll chase we'll chase Roman all the way across the country. Or he'll chase me and one of them. I'll probably chase him because this truck's one mile an hour faster than mine. Yep. Becky's not in a good mood. She, she, had, she didn't work yesterday. They worked here yesterday. They had a truck come in. I guess they had two trucks come in. Or, anyway. And they unloaded them, but they just left them on the dock. They didn't put them away. So she came into a huge mess. So she's not a happy camper right now. I don't blame her. Been there, done that. Coming into work, it was a huge mess. And you're like, well, that's okay. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I've been playing with this camera. Um, figured some things out on it. Uh, how to get it to... Finally got it to connect to my phone. Well, what it does is it sets up its own Wi-Fi uh, what do you call it uh, network so you turn on your Wi-Fi and you connect to the camera the camera has its own Wi-Fi and then it connects to your phone via Wi-Fi It'll connect via Bluetooth, but it's got low power. And then you do, but you lose a lot of options. So I can watch the videos on my phone from it. And they look pretty good. Uh, no more of that shutter roll, which is really cool. The only thing is, <laughs> with the stabilization on this thing, because the camera is smooth, it's going down the road. But you can see the truck, front of the truck bouncing them all the rough bumps and stuff. More than you do with my, with my phone. So you'll see just how rough some of these roads are. You're the front end of me bouncing. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Of course, it's in, uh, what I got, what I got set for? Um, Two thousand something frames, or two thousand something. I forget. Sixty frames a second, so that's nice, nice and smooth. Uh, yeah, I mean, it works great. Now I just gotta figure out. I'm supposed to be able to save it from there to my phone. I gotta figure out how to do that, and then my phone doesn't have that much room. So, 
that might be a problem. But the app also has a, a little bit of editing software in it. So I might be able to... Ooh, I didn't even look to see. So I can share it. If I can edit it and share it to YouTube, that'd be perfect. I'll have to try it. I'll try it later. I'll, I'll upload the first video. Now, it does, it does something weird. It breaks up the video. Because I started it recording when I left Cokeville. And then somewhere along the way, it, it like, cut that, cut that clip off and started a new clip. So I'll have to figure that out. My phone does that too, but it'll do it in like 30 minute increments. 30 something minutes. If you just let it go for 30 minutes, it cuts and it starts a new one. And I think that's what this did, but it only did it in like, like 14 minutes. Something weird. And then the next one was like 17 minutes. So I don't, I don't know what caused that. I don't know. But I'll play with this more and I'll figure it out. But it looks really good. It looks a lot better than my phone does. So much better. So much better. <laughs> I can't wait to get it. And it's actually got, uh, the app actually has some music and stuff you can add to the video. You can make a whole thing. I just gotta find out if I can share it from there to YouTube. I'm not sure I can. I'm gonna try. Trust me. If I can, then that's, that would solve a lot of problems. <sighs> so anyway, I'll catch up with you guys this afternoon. Maybe when I'm over at uh, Thermal King, maybe. Might just skip it and wait till tonight after I get everything done. And park. Becky had to come out and wake me up. Usually she doesn't have to wake me up, but she had to pound on the door and wake me up. I was tired. I parked at the truck stop. I left there at 4 o'clock this morning. Came over here. And I was awake when she got here. I see her pull in and park and we waved high at 5 o'clock this morning. And then I went back and laid down and I was out. And, you know, she had to come pound, pound on the door at 7.30. <laughs> mm. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good day. Love y'all. Be safe. Bye.